The joy in believing. Believing something. Because if you don't believe in something, you'll fall for anything. I've heard someone say that. I, that's not an original thought of mine. But I mean, it's so true. I enjoy believing. See, some people consider it hard to believe. But I know in whom I have believed. And I'm persuaded. So it doesn't make no difference if it comes yesterday or it comes 20 years from now. The fun of it is in believing. Believing what? Believing what the Word of God said. The Bible is a recipe for your whole life. It has wonderful treats in it, sweets in it. Lord Jesus, it's good stuff. And every day you can receive a revealed knowledge of something God wants you to do. So the title of this sermon today is The Charm and Challenge of Believing. There's a charm to believing and there's a challenge to believing. So if you're taking notes, I want you to write some of these things down because I thought I couldn't preach a Father's Day uh, message. But you know what? Every one of you children, how many of you have a father? Hold your hand up. Now, how do you know that's your daddy? You believed it. Oh, but I look like him. Well, a lot of people look like each other. That don't mean it. You just simply believe what your mama and your daddy said. Right? Because you can't remember when you were born. You believed it to such a degree that a love was created that would last not just in this lifetime, but for eternity. The charm and the challenge of believing. Let me read that scripture again. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. What do you believe? You see, the reason why you can have joy and peace in believing, because if you're sick by stripes, you were healed. If you're having financial trouble, all you got to do is enjoy and believe in the believing. And God said he'd supply all your need. He said, if you delight yourself, therefore, in the Lord, he'd give you the desires of your heart. That is something to really enjoy. If you got children not, not quite living the way they should, it's their tough luck they were born to you. You got the promise of the family down to a thousand generations. Now, you think about that for a minute. A thousand generations, which means simply this. If you enjoy believing that they're going to get saved, whether they like it or not, because they just were born to the wrong couple. That's what my mother used to say all the time. It's your tough luck you was born to me. You're going to get saved whether you like it or not. The Charm and Challenge of Believing. Also available as a digital download. Order your copy today. This product is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this product or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.